Hello everybody, my name is Mr. AWP Paradox, and today we are back after a month of no videos or content. Because as some of you know, my graphics card just failed. Done. Completely crapped out. So, today, we will be making... <gasps> Wait for it. A YouTube banner! Or at least showing you guys a simple idea on how to make one for yourselves. For those of you who really don't have some sort of fancy, like, graphics making tool. So, because with that in mind, we will be using paint. Yes, that's right, we are using paint. Alright, first off, what you want to do... Okay, sorry, first off, this is my opinion. This is just how I like to make them. You guys can fiddle around with it, keep it how it is, do whatever you like, change colors, make text different, I don't care. Use this design in whatever way you want. I'm just doing it how I think it would be good. Alright, so, first things first. You wanna, you wanna open a text document, or not text document, paint, up, paint file. That made sense. Put it down to 50%. 50%. Alright. Next. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you use your rectangle tool and some lines, and you do a solid color fill. For those of you who wouldn't know how to do this, make both of these white, click on solid color, and then you can just make up uh, lines and crap like that. Alright. Uh, but doing that, make line line. Lines like these, as such. And then make both of these a dark gray do one fairly long line here one fairly long kinda thickish lines I guess too right here I'm actually gonna redo that one add a little bit more space here alright that should be good move it over there we go that should be good now um take this dark gray paint bucket make that as a dark red not dark gray sorry make this dark red um oh by the way guys for what you were doing we're going to try and make this kind of look all right end goal right there yeah all right not too bad so far maybe a little bit higher but same general concept all right next make both of these white Get your rectangle, rectangle, yeah, rectangle, uh, tool again, make a nice rectangle, try and make sure it, uh, lines up nicely, so you don't have a lopsided rectangle, you know, uh, we'll move that a little bit, get your triangle, triangular tool here, and what you want to do is flip this horizontal, and move it over here, Just move it on over. Yep, there you go. Um, make another one right here like that. Perfect. And this, as you can see with our example, is going to be where we put our little thingamajigs. Yeah. That thing. Okay, um, and so, go back to this. What you want to do, take this dark color, this dark red, Make a slightly darker version. Hit OK. And get your line tool out. Alright, now take your line tool. And make some pretty nice lines here. Just get them all nice and linular. Does that make sense? Alright, but basically, try and do this kind of shape. The shape is great. And then use your paint bucket to fill these in. Just like that. Ta-da, perfect. Alright, now do the same over here. These don't have to be exactly the same. Uh, personally, I prefer if it's not. Um, just, I think it looks nicer when it's not exactly the same. Uh, make this a little different looking there. Okay, there we go. Uh, get your paint bucket out, of course. Fill in these little blotches here. Uh, don't worry about these little bits and pieces. You can touch those up with another bar or whatever tool you like to use. 
in a little bit. Okay, now, uh, what you want to do, um, go ahead and create a nice text box, actually. Um, I'm going to use a special font I bought, got, called Paragon Black, which is quite nice. And put in, put in your channel name, just like this. And move it so it's nice, kind of, and centered and stuff. There we go, see? Looking pretty nice, right? Right. Alright. Um, you can do a second layer of shading here, which uh, I guess I might do. Yeah, why not? We got we got a bit of time to do it. Just kind of darken this up. And I'm just going to do a very, very simple little line bit here. You know, nothing too fancy at the moment. Just because I still like that. I don't know what kind of what you'd call it. That was a bad, bad line to do. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. Let's see if we can fix that. All right, there we go. That should work. All right, get this. Color that in. Color this in. Da da. You got no, you got new layer of shading. Um, going to go ahead and pick these colors and make a nice new. Lengthy D box, and yes, I said lengthy D D D. Um, now, what you would like to do, or what I like to do, get a black and dark red color with this hexagon. Make one right here. Um, get this, and right here, I'm going to put using the 48 style. I'm going to put tutorials this is where the main chunk of your of what you do goes by the way um, reposition that to there create a new text box here and we'll put in um, gaming because we do do some gaming on this channel and last but not least, since I am the fanciest goat of them all, we will put right here fanciness. Turtles, gaming, and fanciness. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is how you make a cool banner. Um. Of course, you can do some other kinds of text effects and all sorts of different things. But this is just like a bare minimum, really nice looking banner that I think almost anyone could adapt to. Adapt it to. So, you know, I mean, you know, compared to this, not too bad. Um, on this one, you can see I have kind of adjusted these lines and stuff. Here I have goat things rather than fanciness, but works the same. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all for now. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. That would be really great. It would really help, um, help me help you. Yeah, help me help you uh, get better things to just overall give you guys great content. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So, as always, enjoy.